Hey, what's up? Sam Shadows from Avenged Sevenfold, Sabat Medcom, and you are watching Medcom.id. Hello, Matt. Uh, I'm Ade from Medcom.id. Uh, let me get uh, the question for you. Some time ago, there was uh, news that you guys would specifically perform Dear God for Indonesian fans. Why are fans in Indonesia so special to you? Well, Indonesia is very far away, and the fact that um, there's such a big community of Avenged Sevenfold fans here is yeah. pretty special to us. Yeah. Um, we also know that Dear God, for some reason, um, really like Dear God, for some reason, really like struck a chord here, and people seem to enjoy it. Yeah. I know they listen to it in their internet cafes and in the early 2000s and um, there was a there was a time when we sort of like didn't want to accept that and we, we came here and we didn't play it a couple times um, but now we think it's it's become something larger than than us almost and, and so we're really excited to you know play it for the first time in 15 years so yeah well, I would like to thank you uh, for your uh, Dear God uh, music, because it's really mind-blowing. And then when you wrote Dear God, uh, what was on your mind? Uh, what made you decide to make a rock ballad song instead of metal song in terms of Dear God arrangement? Yeah, you know, when we wrote it, we were actually inspired by a couple of different country artists um, in America. And we were kind of in this situation where we were writing up in this like city called Big Bear, California, and we were um, drinking a little bit, and Brian and Jimmy were saying how they could make a hit pop country song easily, yes. and they just started playing those chords and singing that song, um, and we, we liked it, so we left it on the record. But um, lyrically, it's just about leaving your family and being on the road, you know, like leaving. I have kids now, so it, you know, it more pertains to my kids, but at the time, my wife, um, leaving my wife and just being gone for months at a time and, and missing someone, and it could, you know, it could translate to anything. Being at war, being um, far away for your work, or just being on tour. So, just missing loved ones. Uh, do you think metal music today should look for new forms? Oh, I don't know. I think metal music, I don't really worry about that. I think people should just play whatever they want. And if you want to be inspired or if you're hearing things from other genres that you like and you want to incorporate it, you should. Um, but if you also want to play a you know, back to basic sort of ACDC album, then you should do that. Um, I just think there's not many genres, a lot of genres have rules. And I think metal should be like the anti everything and it should have no rules and you should be able to do whatever you want. I think there's a bunch of artists coming up right now. Um, Kim Dracula, Bring Me the Horizon, Bad Omens, Sleep Token. There's a bunch of bands that are incorporating all sorts of stuff. Um, so I, I think there should just be no rules. Just do whatever you want. Okay. And then uh, from your experience in Indonesia, what was your unforgettable moment? Unforgettable moment? Yes. Um, we've had we had a negative one where we came and we had to cancel a show because this, the stage wasn't secure and we didn't want anyone to get hurt. So that was, I'll never forget that because we had to get to the airport and people were upset. And, um, but also just coming here for the first time many years ago and seeing how nice everyone was, like it was really cool. Um, I, I love everything about this place. I love the food, I love the people. Um, I love the weather. I like how it's kind of hot. It feels like Florida. Um, it's just great. So I have a lot of good memories about Indonesia, but the flight is very long. <laughs> okay, thank you.